Good morning, everyone. John DeRosa posting again. John's World. Listen, I was watching MSNBC Don Lemon the other day. Oh, well, this happened last night, actually. You know, I love me some Angela Rye. She is tough as nails and she doesn't mince words. And she tells it like it is. But I saw another side of her yesterday when she started bursting in tears. Because she's exasperated. She's exhausted. She is frustrated. She's angry. At just the mere fact that the Republicans cannot acknowledge what is before them. What they're supporting. Donald Trump is racist, or he has racist views. He has shown it time and time again. And the people that are backing him are racist or have racist tendencies and his supporters. A lot of them are racist, not all of them, but a lot of them are. And they wink and they smirk and his dog whistles. And I am a recipient of it, just like I shared with you a while back. These rednecks are feeling tall and strong where I live. Confederate flags blowing in the wind. This woman took my parking space at a grocery store, and, and I'm 6'2", 250. And when I said to her, did you not see my turn signal? I was turning, and you cr almost crashed in me to take my turn signal. And she got out of her car with no teeth, hair all over the place, looking like who did it and what for, with a brood of kids hanging on her, and said to me, what are you going to do about it, monkey? So now let me tell you all something. I can understand why Angela Rye is crying, because it's so freaking frustrating. Hey, you can put your support behind whoever you want to in this country, but at least acknowledge that your hands are racially dirty. When you put your support behind rednecks or people who are um, stirring up racism just so they can get a cheer, a pat on the back. And that is what Donald Trump is doing. And if you don't think he is, you are sadly mistaken. And you got these rednecks running for office now saying the most outlandish things. People like uh, Little Caesars, CEO, using the N-word. Are you serious? And that's just the beginning. All of these black kids, being cops being called, called on because they're selling um, <coughs> lemonade at the corner where they live uh, Paper routes, 12-year-old boy being, uh, police being called on, or what, now we can't go swimming in the same waters as white people? This was something like Hark back in the 50s and 60s. Are you serious? We have all, we all who are intelligent know what make America great means. Get to the back of the bus, people. This is what it was like back in the day, and that's what people are asking for. If you don't see it, then you're blind as a bat. Because it is what it is, people. It is what it is. It is what it is. You need to acknowledge it. Now, you have a great throwback Thursday. Because I know I will. Because nothing's going to stop me from getting up every day and enjoying my life. I have a great life. And I love it. And somebody calling me a monkey when they don't have a tooth in their head and smelling like wet cat. I had to laugh. Yeah, I could have easily gotten out and snapped her neck. But then what would that make me? That would make me as low as she was. That would have made me lower than her. And then the cops would have call, been called and then would have snapped my neck. So no, the devil didn't get me that day. I laughed at the devil. I laughed at it. Not today. And not tomorrow.